Let's talk about systems of linear equations. So um, what, what is a system of linear equations? So a system of linear equation is just um, more than one linear equation. So for example, um, one linear equation could be y equals x plus 1. And another linear equation could be y equals um, 2x, something like that. So these are, these are two linear equations, and then the solution to this system of linear equations, uh, meaning the collection of both of them, um, would just be a point that satisfies both of them. So in this case, uh, why don't we just graph these two lines to get an idea of what's going on. Um, so the first line, x plus 1, so that's starting at um, y-intercept of 1. It has a slope of 1. Uh, so let's just draw some points there. Um, so it looks something like this. And then the second one, uh, y equals 2x, well, that's starting at the origin 0 because it's like 2x plus 0. Um, it's just people usually don't write this arrow there because it's 0, so it just vanishes. Um, and then uh, the slope is 2, so like up 2 over 1. So um, yeah, so this point's in common. Let me this up. So that line looks something like this. Um, so where the lines cross, that's the solution. Here we can kind of um, eyeball it from the graph because we, we just went over one and uh, we went up one for both of them. So, so the solution would be um, one, two. So um, the reason that's the solution is because you, you plug it in both of them and it works. You get um, two. Um, equals 1 plus 1, I think so, um, and 2 equals 2 times 1 plus 0, that works as well. Um, so so the, the, the task of linear systems is to find what points satisfy both of them. Uh, so in this case, uh, when these are two lines that, um, they're, they're, they're different lines, they're not they don't like coincide or anything. They're, they, they're intersecting lines. In that kind of case, there's there's always going to be one solution. Just kind of think about it on, on a graph. If you, if you draw a graph, um, like this, say we draw one line here, and then like another line looks like this. Um, so if you continue it far enough, you're, they're going to cross at some point. You not you might not be able to see it on the graph that you've drawn, but at some point they're going to cross, and then that's going to be the solution, because um, that point is on both of the lines, meaning that if you substitute it in, the equations check out. Um, but there are other cases as well. Um, like think about parallel lines. Um, what if we have something like this line? and uh, this line, and they're parallel. Say this one is like y equals x minus 1. This one is y equals x plus 1. Well, they don't intersect anywhere, because that's what parallel means. That means they don't intersect anywhere. Um, they have the same slope. Um, so. Yeah, there's there's no point that we can choose that's gonna satis that's gonna be on both the lines. So that means that there's no pair x and y that we can choose that'll satisfy both of these equations. And that kind of makes sense if you think about it. Like this one is saying that y equals x plus one. So it's saying like choose some number. You, you gotta find some number that is x plus one. And then if we want to if we want to find a solution, then that same number has to also equal x minus one. Um, and that doesn't really makes sense because uh, x plus 1 can't be equal to x minus 1. There's no number that like 
the next number after it is the same number as the next number before it. It just doesn't work that way. Um, yeah, so parallel lines means no solutions, usually, unless the lines are actually like the same line, in, in which case there are infinitely many solutions. An um, example of this would be, um, so we'll, we'll keep this, this line y equals um, x plus 1, and then think about the line, um, think about the line uh, 2y equals 2x plus 2. Well, if you divide that by 2, then you get back to y equals x plus 1. So this the, that, that line has the same graph, so you just, it goes right over this line. Um, and so in that case, like any point you choose is going to be on both lines because they are the, the same line. Um, so in that case, it'd be infinitely many solutions. So I'll just write down these categories. Same line, infinitely many solutions. Um, parallel. But it actually, so this is parallel, but same, parallel but different. Um, no solutions. And then otherwise, they're just intersecting in one point because they're non-parallel um, lines. Then it's one solution. So that's, that's the lowdown on the, the graphical interpretation of linear systems. And uh, in the next videos, we'll see how to actually solve them and cases that are tough to solve graphically.